Hello everyone, this is Ben from iPhone Builder. Today I'm going to show you how to take iPhone Builder data and push it into Google Docs and then from there have it show on a ArcGIS online map. Um, so this is a very very straightforward process to do. Um, so what we want to start out with doing is first to download the XLS data feed so then we can cover get the column headers. So I've already done that here so I'll open up my Excel and copy these headers and in your uh, ArcGIS or your Google Docs spreadsheet you want to paste in these column headers um, so which I'm, I'm doing right now just so we can see the headers for all the different information because the function we're going to do to pull the data in does not display headers so we go back into iPhone Builder and select the data tab select the form that you just download the XLS data feed from and download the XML feed so if you want to press shift and XML and this will give you the XML data feed link. So we'll copy that. And then in the second column, right beneath ID, you want to use a function called import XML. So equals import XML. And in quotes, you want to paste the data feed that we just copied. And to authenticate, we want to do and username equals RGIS test. And whatever your username is, is what you'll use there. And password equals ArcGIS test 2013 and then you want to end the quotes on that and then you want to use a comma and then we have to specify the query parameter that we're going to use which will be forward slash forward slash record and this will bring down each record within the state of feed so we press enter it's actually working and it's going to be loading in all the the records here so we'll get out of our excel sheet and it's slowly bringing, bringing all these down. It's still working here, it'll bring the rest of them down. But basically what we're going to do now is we want to publish this data feed. Um, but before we publish it, the first thing we want to do is specify that this created location field, which the way iPhone Builder gives you the data is a little different. So then ArcGIS accepts. So what we want to do is we want to parse out these, these fields here. So we have longitude and latitude and they're all they're separated out differently than what ArcGIS takes in so if we take column G2 so we want to move all the way over to the very end of our form then we want to add one or two columns over here and then inside here we're going to do equals G or equals split and we're going to use that this is the function split so G2 so we're going to split it at G2 and we're going to split it at the value of a colon. So what this is doing is it's taking column G2, which was our location data, and it's going to split each one up into a, a different cell, just similar to text to columns in, in Excel. So we select enter and it's actually working. It's going to split up this. And while it's doing that, we're going to actually extend this all the way down to the bottom of our sheet so we can get some more, we can get all the data. So I'm moving down here and I will just stop here for demo purposes and you'll see that all this data gets gets calculated in using the split function. And while it's doing the calculation here we're going to go up to the top and we want to specify fields for these. So the first one we'll call latitude and the next one we'll call longitude. All right, and then once that's done, we want to go and publish this. So I already saved it in ArcGIS, and I want to go File, Publish to the Web. And now that we have the longitude and latitude fields available for ArcGIS to consume, we can simply publish this. So we want to hit Start Publishing, select OK, and you can change the rights on who is able to see this published file, but we want to get the link of a CSV and this will give us the CSV link here so if I copy this and then here's where we go into ArcGIS online so we select add and we want to add a layer from the web this is a live web file that we're going to be adding so we want to select the type of file so we'll use a CSV and we're going to paste this URL in that was right from the Google Docs we'll add this layer in and right now what it's doing is it's adding in the layer and 
parsing through each one of these records to make sure everything's correct. And if we just give it a second here, it says some uh, file contains some invalid characters. That's because I didn't go through and extend and get all the longitude and latitude of every record, but we got most of them. So you'll see that there's records collected all across the globe, and this is a really great way to, to show these certain types of records. And what we can do, actually, is do some more edits to this. So if we go to this file, and we can go change symbols. So you can actually use unique symbols based on a certain field. So if there's something, if you only want to show someone who wants to be, who wants to watch a crash course in iPhone Builder, which there's not enough data in here for that to work, but you would see the different options appear and then you could color code those based on the specific option. So this is how you take iPhone Builder data and push it into ArcGIS Online. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon on how to better utilize ArcGIS and iPhone Builder together. Thanks for watching.